Economic base analysis was developed by Robert Murray Haig in his work on the Regional Plan of New York in 1928. Briefly, it posits that activities in an area divide into two categories basic and non-basic. Basic industries are those exporting from the region and bringing wealth from outside, while non-basic or service industries support basic industries. Because of data problems clarify, it is not practical to study industry output and trade flows to and from a region. As an alternative, the concepts of basic and non-basic are operationalized using employment data. The basic industries of a region are identified by comparing employment in the region to national norms. If the national norm for employment in for example, Egyptian woodwind manufacturing is 5% and the region's employment is 8%, then 3% of the region's woodwind employment is basic. Once basic employment is identified, the outlook for basic employment is investigated sector by sector and projections made sector by sector. In turn, this permits the projection of total employment in the region. Typically the basic slash non-basic employment ratio is about 1. 1. Extending by manipulation of data and comparisons, conjectures may be made about population and income. This is a rough serviceable procedure, and it remains in use today. It has the advantage of being readily operationalized, fiddled with, and understandable. The figure showing location quotients uses data from Compare Minnesota Profiles of Minnesota's Economy and Population, 2002-2003. It uses the term location quotient, a number derived by comparing the percentage of employment in a place Minnesota with the percentage of employment nationwide. Minnesota has about the same percentage of high technology employment as does the nation. It has more medical devices employment than the national average due to companies such as Medtronic. Economic base ideas are easy to understand, as are measures made of employment. For instance, it is well known that the economy of Seattle, Washington is tied to aircraft manufacturing, that of Detroit, Michigan, to automobiles, and that of Silicon Valley to high-tech manufacturing. When newspapers discuss the closing of military bases, they may say something like 5,000 jobs at the base will be lost. That's going to hit the economy hard, because it means a loss of 10,000 jobs in the community. To forecast, the main procedure is to compare the region with the nation and national trends. If the economic base of a region is in industries that are declining nationwide, then the region faces a problem. If its economic base is concentrated in sectors that are growing, then it is in good shape. Methodologically, economic base analysis views the region as if it were a small nation and uses notions of relative and comparative advantage from international trade theory Charles T. about 1963. In a sense, the activity is macroeconomics written small, and it has not been of much interest to urban economists in recent years, because it does not get at within city relationships. The analysis usually takes U.S. growth patterns as a given. The fates of regions are determined by trends in the national economy, 